Okay. Um, so I'm going to walk back over here to uh, this workshop, I guess. My little workshop that I set up. And um, I'm going to park my uh, my uh, armor here. Oh, actually. Power armor station. What? Craft? Oh, I must exit it. Okay. Alright. I exited it. Now what? Craft. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, they, I gotta redo my, my keys here. Inventory. Right leg. Repair. So, I could hit T to repair. I'm looking at the bottom of the screen here. T to repair. Uh, let's see. What is this going to cost me to repair it? Four steels. All right. Repair. Okay, I repaired it. I don't know why it doesn't have the little thing by it now. And then I could mod it with a model A. It requires nothing. Oh, maybe it is a model A. Okay, but it already is a model A. I see. Okay. Neato. No material mod vault tech paint. So I guess I've already got the no material mod. I could paint it. Increases charisma with all pieces painted. Okay. Alright. Neato cool. Cool neato neato cool. Alright. Okay. Exit. So I'm going to leave that here. Uh, I'm going to take the fusion core. With me. So that nobody could steal my armor. And, um, yes, I did read that online as a smart thing to do. I didn't just simply think of that myself. Now, as you can see, we're moving very slowly uh, because we are now over-encumbered by a lot because the power armor, I guess, boosts what we could carry. What? So, don't what me, woman. Uh, don't so, you worry. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Yeah. Your energy is tied to this place. Okay, I'm kind of busy right now. Can we talk later? Oh, fine. Uh, yeah, it's because I, I lived here. Live here. A long time. <laughs> I love that mask. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. Oh my god, what else did you this see? This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Jet? What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always going to be jet <laughs> I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. So basically, we just give her drugs and she gives us stuff. Fine, here. Take it, I don't here. care. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? No, not really. This'll do. Now. Let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. You do that. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs hmm. to the bright heart. Hmm. Ew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. You're calling me kid. I'm over 200 years old. Hey, do you have a moment? Not really. Well, thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. Yeah, if only. Why? What happened? What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. Oh, what's his name? Your son. What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was... Kyle. Figures. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what figures means. I understand. That's awful. <laughs> I understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, 
we're still here, right? We have to go on. For them. For them. We have to go on. Okay, so uh, I'm super, super, super over encumbered. Something else that I read uh, is, let's see, supposedly you can dismantle this stuff. I think something like that. Let's see. Um, junk. This can be dismantled into these components here, acid, antiseptic, and fiberglass. Uh, component view. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It just splits all of our stuff down into component view. But I think that you have to break it down. Like I just dropped it. Otherwise, you'll you'll um. Well. Hmm. Thought there was a way that I could get to the um, workbench. Let me see here. Workshop. Workshop? Settlers need food, water, a bed, and shelter. Increase your settlement's happiness rating by providing each settler with all of these basics. Holy crap, each settler? Damn. Um, where do I go? Oh man, these controls are so messed up. You're gonna, yeah, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to listen to me complain about them. I guess you don't have to. <laughs> There's plenty of other playthroughs out there. Um... Uh, okay, so earlier in the game, we were walking around and I had the opportunity to dismantle things. Remember I was dismantling the beds and stuff like that. What? I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Chair? Can't you just... Use any chair? The sight's been real exhausting lately. Got aches and pains. Even when I'm lying down. I know it's odd asking for a fitted chair in this day and age. But it really helped me out, kid. Fine. Sure. Be glad to help. Thank you. Alright, would you people leave me alone so I could try to figure out what the hell I'm doing? Um, <laughs> okay, like I said... Yeah? There's some... There we go. No, this isn't quite what I want. What I wanted. Um, oh, okay, I could dismantle dog meat. <laughs> Can I dismantle dog meat? Okay, there we go. I could dismantle. Yeah, scrap. That's it. I could scrap this kickball. It doesn't tell me what I'll get though. What I'll get for scrapping it? I thought before it told me. Scrap. Okay, I'll get three rubbers for that. <laughs> no, not those kind of rubbers. Uh, so. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come out here and just drop a bunch of my junk on the ground and scrap it. That's what I was trying to do, like this. Drop it on the ground. Okay, so I dropped it on the ground. And then we leave the pit boy And then, there we go. There we go. Now I can scrap it. And I'll get acid, antiseptic, and fiberglass. Right? So, what I read was that the reason you want to do that... It's because if you're crafting something and it requires, for example, let me go back in here to my, um, if it, if it requires, uh, let me see if I could find a better example. Camera, right? The camera here has two gears, two springs, and two crystal. My understanding is that if I am crafting something that requires a gear, it will go ahead and take it from this camera, but I believe it'll basically use up the whole camera, meaning I'll lose the other gear, the two springs and the two crystal. I think that's what I read. Uh, I was just reading some, since I couldn't find a manual, I was just like reading some articles on like tips to get started in uh, the wasteland. So that's where I read that. Um, so the suggestion was to go ahead and dismantle this stuff into its components rather than just storing it as as junk. Now, obviously that is um, a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of stuff on the ground here. Look at all this stuff on the ground. But I can now 
just I wish I didn't have to enter because I have to move my hand from my mouse. Um, that's a dumb key to use. So now I'm just scrapping all of this stuff, bone, because I don't want to carry it. And when you scrap it, my understanding, just from previous play, is that it automatically puts it in my workshop so that I don't have to, like, carry it over there. Oh, wow, look at this claw. Cool. I wonder if that was a mistake. I don't know. This gets broken down into cloth. This goes to steel. We got a lot of duct tape here. It's funny, I wonder if we'd like need duct tape as duct tape, but if we did, I don't think it would be called junk, right? So, I wanna just make a video where all I do is uh, scrap stuff and I, and I bet you it gets a lot of hits. No, I'm just kidding. I know this is not exciting. And this is pretty much the only time that I'm gonna make you watch me do this. Um, I don't know why that one's in yellow. You know, like, look at that, this one's in yellow. These other things were in green, but these are in yellow for unknown reasons. Is it? Is it just because, oh, I could even scrap the freaking mailbox. Look at this. Can I scrap the house? I wonder what happens if I scrap the dog. Oh, I could send him places. Oh, okay, interesting. It's tempting, trust me, it's tempting. Now, he does come in handy a little bit. Damn, how far away can I do this? Okay, that looks floor jack. Is that useful? I'm still carrying too much stuff? Yeah, let's scrap all this crap. Yeah. It's a scrap fest. Floor jack. I don't know if I need that or if that's just junk. Yeah, screw it. Oh, I could do the sign. I could do the street lamp. This is hilarious. What about that tree? Can I scrap the tree? A tire wall? Sure. Why not? This is freaking cool. All right. I don't know why I'm still over encumbered, though. Oh, man. Big time. I just got rid of all that junk and I'm still this over encumbered? Uh. Huh. I don't know about that. It's probably all this apparel that I'm carrying. You know? It's probably that. And you know, also all these weapons. Holy cow. That's a lot of weaponry going on right there that I, I just don't need to carry all this stuff. Like all these pipe pistols I probably don't need. I don't need these small pistols. This minigun weighs a ton. I don't need that anymore. I'm out of ammo for it anyway. Uh, I probably keep the Molotovs. It's probably good to have some, um, some kind of ranged, you know. I'm gonna keep one of these security bat bat batons. I don't need four shotguns. This laser musket's kind of nice. Um, get rid of that, and I get rid of these tire irons. Boy, I, st I still have a lot of weight, though. You know, I don't need two ten meter, ten millimeter pistols. I don't think. And now we've got all of this stuff. You know, kind of nice to have, I guess. You know, these things. This gives me a little bit of endurance, a little bit of charisma, but I can't. I just can't walk around with all this stuff. I just can't. I find it odd. Am I actually carrying this stuff? I thought my suit was over there. I can drop it. So I don't really understand that. These wedding rings have no weight. I'm just gonna... drop a lot of this stuff. Although I think I just dropped some stuff that I was wearing. I think. Yeah. Greaser jacket and jeans. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of a lot of this crap. Sack hood, sack hood with hoses. I thought that's what we were wearing. Can I really drop stuff that I'm currently wearing? I guess so, because I'm not wearing that socks, that that hood anymore. Huh. Yeah, I wonder if I just leave that stuff there if it'll just all stay there. I wonder. I do wonder. Huh. Yeah, I'm um, a little disturbed by the fact that it just let me drop stuff, or... I don't know. I guess this is the stuff I'm wearing. Can I drop stuff I'm wearing? I can. This game does not care. It's like, screw you. Whether you're wearing it or not, I'm gonna let you drop it. But look at our uh, encumbrance now. So that's good. Oh! Road leathers. Hmm. I wonder what the best stuff is to wear. You know? 
I don't know. You just kind of have to pick it all up and look at it, right? This is actually kind of crappy. Damage resist of two? That's it? That's pretty crappy, really. I know I have something better than that. Right? Let's see. Where's something better? Like, uh, probably not Long John's. Raider Leathers. That is, um... Well, it's the same. Or is that exactly the same thing I was just wearing and I'm just a big dumb moron? Drifter Outfit. This, uh... This is considerably better. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna wear the Drifter outfits. Plus, it's badass looking, right? How cool is that? So I don't understand these torso pieces here. I mean, if this is the um, if this is the power armor, what are those? These like I'll try uh, to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Yeah, exactly. I guess I wear the, the suit, and then this stuff is like extra armor for the suit, maybe? I don't need to be carrying this shit around. So hopefully it's okay if I just leave it here in the street. We'll find out, right? Oh, I like how that uh, minigun landed. That's pretty funny. Okay, um, let's just for the fun of it see if we can't um, craft a chair for old Mama Murphy there. So structures... No, we don't need structures. What we need is... Uh, ooh, special? Mama Murphy's chair. Okay. We can do this. We can build it. Requires four wood. We have 31 wood. We only need four. At least I think I'm reading this correctly. Need three cloth and one steel. Build. I built it. Okay. You must assign a worker to this object before it can be begin producing resources. What? How's that now? So it just kind of put her chair there. I mean, what if I want to pick it up and move it? All right, sit down, Mama Murphy. Hey. Taking too much to talk too long. I should sit down. Why don't you do that? Can I pick this stuff up? I want to pick it up and move it around. I, I don't want it to be here. Huh. All right. Well, fine. Just sit there. <laughs> Look how she sits. I don't know why that cracked me up. <sighs> Just kind of slumped over in the chair. You remind me of a young man I used to know. Yeah. Never looking for trouble, uh -huh. but always finding it. Yeah, never looking for trouble, but always finding it. How you feeling there, Mama Murphy? You feeling better? Mama Murphy. Come back later. You need to rest before the site can help you again. All right. So, uh, something that I wanted to go check. Do you remember in this house over here, there was a ledger terminal? I think it was this house. Uh, it wasn't this house, was it? Um, no, it wasn't this house. Well crud. There was a house that um, had a ledger terminal in it, and in it he talked about people. Damn it. Uh, I'm not going to find it. Wow, great memory, man. What a great memory I have. <laughs> what the hell? Here it is. So check this out. Let's see if I'm remembering correctly. I might not be. Sanctuary Hills... No. Concord. Oh, never mind. I thought that Murphy was in here. I thought... I thought she might have been in here. Nope. Okay. I, I thought that I remember reading about some old woman, and I, and I thought maybe that the old woman was uh, Murphy here, but apparently not, so never mind. Forget I said anything. That was going to be neat, but instead it was the opposite. What's the opposite of neat? What is the opposite of neat? Dull? Huh. Maybe not the opposite. Maybe an opposite of dull. Oh, stay tuned to my grammar YouTube channel coming soon. All right. This is where I am going to break this play session. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, we have a couple of quests that we can think about. Uh, we could talk to these settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. Preston Garvey has asked me to travel to a nearby settlement that's requested help from the Minutemen. I should go there as soon as possible and see what I can do to help them. We've got that. We've got this Jewel of the Commonwealth one where we're supposed to go to Diamond City. Oh, we could pick more than one quest at a time. 
Diamond City is the largest settlement in the Commonwealth. It's the best place to begin the search for Sean. And then there's just this miscellaneous thing where we're supposed to talk to Sturgis. I guess there's no text for that. So when we come back, you know what? We'll probably talk to Sturgis since he's right here. And then maybe we'll head to um, Ten Pines Bluff and see what those people need before we head into the big city of Diamond City. Make sure you tune in. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for all of the views. Um, for whatever reason, this uh, series is really getting like four times as many views as I normally get, which is very exciting. So thank you so much for that. I do hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if I may ask for a favor from you, if you would just go ahead and click the like button to let me know that you did enjoy it. Oh, this dog's running around kicking all my stuff around. Look at this. All my stuff's going to get flung all over the place because of this damn dog. <laughs> oh, dog meat. Wah, wah. Anyway, uh, yeah, feel free to leave a comment if you wish. Let me know what you think of the game, how your play experience is going, uh, what you like, what you don't like, and uh, also maybe let me know what you think about my playthrough. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you join me again in the next episode.